Welcome to another episode of Savage Time TV. I'm your host, A.B. Brizzy, and today I have special guest T.J. Corey Davis with me today. How you feeling today, bro? I'm doing pretty good, man. I appreciate you having me. No problem, bro. No problem, man. Um, thank you for the opportunity to interview you, man. We've been trying to get this uh, done for a little bit now. Yeah. Um, like, I remember when you was reaching out before, I was, mm -hmm. I was like, man, we got to get this together, but I'm, hey, I'm happy we finally got you in, Exactly. Man. It's, it happened eventually. That's finally all that matters. Okay, oh, so uh, for the people that don't know, could you just tell us where you're from? I'm from uh, Middletown, Delaware. Okay, Middletown, yep. Delaware, Middletown. Could yep. you tell us about just how it was growing up, uh, growing up there? Just for uh, people that don't know. Growing up, it was you know your average uh, suburban town and everything. <laughs> um, wasn't it wasn't bad at all, but it was good people around. So okay, um, so you're a recording artist. You you be dancing all the time. You dancer. I know you have your own clothing line, Made yeah. Clothing. Have you always always been about being creative? Yeah, always. Ever literally ever since a kid, I, my parents could never sit me down. So. I was always doing something creative. Always creative, always yeah, doing something, always creative. For sure. Um, when did you pick up the mic and start making music? Um, well, in the sixth grade is when I actually started writing and everything, but it wasn't until probably maybe middle school that I actually, you know, got my own mic and everything, got mm -hmm. my own recording software, and um, actually started, you know, trying it out, trying to uh, trying to do that then, so probably maybe like seventh grade, something like that. Okay. And why use the mic as a tool to build your dreams? Um, so for that, it's just, I have different avenues where I, I like to express myself mm -hmm. and the mic was kind of where I, I was able to, you know, get anything that was like on my mind that, you know, I, I couldn't really release any other way. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of like express how I was feeling. And that was, that's where I found out just kind of worked best for me. Okay. And when it comes to music, making music, um, your influences, if any, could mm -hmm. you just talk to us about some people that influence your work? Yeah. So basically, um, I would say, you know, anywhere from, you know, Chris Brown, um, Tory Lanez, okay. or even like back in the day, like Donnell Jones, you know what I'm saying? Just like anything from like back in the day to now, um, that just that storytelling aspect, mm -hmm. is, that's, that's really like what interests me. I can me. definitely see the Chris Brown, because yeah. you definitely like, you be, you be dancing, like yeah. I don't know if y'all y'all gotta check him out, like he definitely, you definitely yeah, dance, sure. he's definitely athletic with it, so like, I always see that, I can definitely see, I definitely see the Chris Brown, I yeah, definitely yeah. can see the Chris Brown. Um, dream collabs. Who would you love to work with? Just um, big, big artists, um, kind of uh, underground artists, like anybody. Who would you like to work with? Well, um, I think that uh, somebody like like Dizzy Wright. Um, okay. I really like his his mindset because he not only does he you know talk about um, you know messages in his music, but he lives the lifestyle that he talks about. So mm -hmm. he's you know he makes it makes it all one piece. But um, you know, like yes, exactly. Um, you know, Chris Brown again, or like uh, Tory Lanez, mm -hmm. um, just people that really, really love their craft and it shows. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's talk about your new EP, Blast Off, man. Yeah. Um, talk about the inspiration for that on the in the whole process. Just talk to us about yeah. that, man. Yeah. So um, honestly, that that was inspired by the whole quarantine. If I if I didn't have that that time to just kind of sit down and you know really um, just hone in on my craft. I wouldn't have been able to to kind of you know actually put in the, the the necessary time in order to make that. And also, um, there was all those quarantine uh, deals going for the beats, so <laughs> where, I was like, where, where, I got I got two and got two free. So you know what I mean? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, favorite song off the project? Uh, my favorite song, it's got to be between either Take Off or uh, Back to Earth. Take I know, I know the the fan favorite was uh, Back to Earth. Okay. But um, I like I like either either of them for two different reasons. Okay. But um, what what are the, what are the reasons? So for for Takeoff, that one that one really like that was really like inspiring to me. Just um, it was really like allowed me to get a lot of stuff off my mind. Um, so it was it was good in that way, and also just like making it, it just it felt like a a whole cohesive pro like you know song. Um, and then b back to earth. That one just like when I heard it, it was literally the way it sounded in my head. Mm -hmm. That's how it came out, and I was just like, it's "Perfect." Yeah, it was just perfect. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, most surprising part of your journey as an artist. What has surprised you most? Um, I think what's surprising most is um, the fact that um, I was able to keep going because for a while uh, I challenged myself to to do a song a, um, a week mm -hmm. for for three months. And um, sometimes there was there was a while where like I had writer's block and it was just like it was it wouldn't it wouldn't let up. Yeah, yeah it, it wouldn't funny. let up. And I was frustrated. I was just like, why? Why can't I think of anything? And that that little challenge that I did for myself, I, 
literally allowed me to just keep going and like not get that writer's block and then kind of keep pushing through so that now I don't really have to worry about it. Okay. And what do you enjoy most about the process of just, you know, making music, being an artist? I think uh, it's probably between actually recording it mm -hmm. and, um, you know, being able to share it with other people. Because mm -hmm. then I, I, like, I like getting constructive feedback um, from people and um, just kind of like using that in order to do that to the, toward the, towards like the, the, the next song or whatever. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. And what has been the biggest hurdle you've had to overcome, you'd say, uh, as you've, you know, journeyed throughout the uh, becoming an artist, just making music? Mm -hmm. um, well, my biggest, biggest hurdle is probably uh, the, the vocals, because mm -hmm. that okay. right there, that is, is, is still not perfect to me. Mm -hmm. But um, I, that is probably what I've, you know, done the most, most research on and trying to get my vocals sound right, because I like to, I like to record everything myself. Um, just because, like, I'm very, like, yeah, very, picky, like, yeah, you very wanna, picky with it. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I think just getting that right was probably the hardest thing. Okay. Uh, shifting, uh, shift the dynamic a little bit. We're going to, you know, stay in current. Um, things are going on, you know, coronavirus, mm -hmm. George Floyd, uh, yeah. Ma Berry, the protest. Um, how do you feel and what are your thoughts on the current state of the country? Um, so, right now... Yeah, it's hot, it's hot as shit in here. Yeah, it? a little bit. I, I told you, so, bro. It's, it's, hot, it's hot as fuck here. It's hot as fuck on TV. Yeah. It's hot as fuck. Um, so, I, I saw a video and it was, it was, it was actually very, very good on, on what the guy said. He was just like, you know, it, it's kind of like a battery in, this, in a sense. Because we have positives and we have negatives. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like the positives and negatives that are going on are being used to power the actual movement that we're trying to push and we've been trying to push. Um, I just think that, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take more time, but I think that now we've started a larger conversation where it's too hard to ignore. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was, I was at the, um, the protest in Middletown yesterday. Yeah, I was at. And um, it was, I'm not even going to lie, Middletown, uh, there's, there's, there's some aspects of it that pe people can be kind of stingy or either, you know, just kind of like push things off to the wayside. Mm -hmm. It was a big turnout. It was bigger than I expected. And I was, I was happy to see it because, you know, I, I, you know I'm, I'm biracial. So, you know, I, I'm, I look like a man of color. You know, I, I am a man of color, but mm -hmm. the thing is, is that, you know, I can see both sides of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with, I grew up with that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, just to see everybody there it just made us all one, you know, even chanting, like it was, yeah. it was, it was really powerful. Okay. So it was good to be there. And like you said, your biracial, and that leads me into my next question, mm -hmm. which was going to be, can you talk about how things can be different, sometimes mm -hmm. uh, even easier or harder for you to deal with certain things you're dealing with, yeah. especially what's going on right now, right. being mixed? Yeah, I think that um, me, me being mixed is actually, uh, it's, it's great because I'm able to see, um, you know, the struggles of the black man because my dad has, has lived it and has preached to me and my brother about it. Um, and how, how to move, especially like when you get pulled over by, by a police officer or something like that. Mm -hmm. Keep both your hands on the wheel. Don't, don't, don't move. Don't, don't touch nothing until that officer comes up to um, the window. Mm -hmm. and, um, but I'm, I've also been able to see um, that, you know, I've never, I've never really been able to like, um, be like, oh, I'm only going to hang with black friends or I'm only going to hang with white friends. Mm -hmm. My parents have always made sure that like, you, you hang out with good people. Yep, that's always about the good person. Regar yes, exactly, regardless of their color. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think in that way, I was, I was able to see kind of both sides of everything. Okay, and what do you think um, the solutions are? If you just had to give your two cents, your little slither of what yeah. some solutions could be, could you talk to us about that? So I think uh, some solutions, um, at least uh, towards the police, is to... Um, hold them accountable for all their actions of course and and of course um makes make sure that they're not using excessive force and any police police officers using excessive force mm -hmm. are to be dealt with at a, at a higher level than you know any regular person because they're supposed to be there to protect us exactly. not to be causing us more harm exactly so okay uh, shifting back, Mayday Clothing, bro. Yeah, you there. Yeah. Clothing line, man. Yeah, man. I tell people all the time, bro. You gotta check it out. Check it out. <laughs> you got some dope stuff, bro. For Appreciate real, it. like some stuff that you don't. It's definitely unique. Yeah. Um, what made you get into fashion? Um, so I've always, I've always 
kind of been into um, fashion, just kind of like trying out, trying out new things. And um, I think the, the biggest thing that really led me toward fashion is um, the whole design aspect of it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the other things about me that just like, it, it, it fills a different void in my life that like, mm -hmm. that I'm able to kind of like express myself there. Um, and, you know, just doing that is able to, it allows me to be able to do what I need to do um, to kind of let that creativity out. Okay. So. And with Mayday Clothing, are you trying to appeal more to the masses or just a particular market? Um, so I think I think it's more towards a particular market um, just because, uh, you know, certain certain people gravitate towards it. I see because they recognize the vision that I'm going for, mm -hmm. which is basically to kind of express yourself um, and just kind of like, you know, do do what you got to do to 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 grow into that that person you want to be. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Um, and what part of making clothes brings you the most joy? Um, I think that I think that people uh, either either just recognizing it for maybe more than what I even intended. Okay. Because um, some people some people you know see my stuff and they'll just be like, wow, like that. I I don't even know how you would have thought of something like Word, that. For and real, man. Like that seven seven zero zero. Yeah. That shit is dope. That and it you know that to me kind of means the world because it's just like I went I went to it with one vision. But for somebody to see something else out of it is just like even better. Um, I remember this one time I was at the mall. I was wearing um, I was wearing one of my shirts, and um, this guy he turned out to be a, an ex pilot, and um, he was like he was like, um, what, what's that shirt mean? And um, he was he was just telling me how he was um, in the uh, he, was, he was a pilot, and mm -hmm. basically um, he helped me he helped me build that. Uh, the whole template for that seven seven zero uh, oh, zero shirt. Okay. Yeah. So um, he was telling me that that. that's that's um, a distress call that okay, they use okay. for for pilots. Okay. So I, I thought that was really cool. So I was like, oh, I have to use yeah, this now. I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. If you don't have any more, I hope you make some more or whatever. Oh like, yeah, for sure. I got it. Like I got to get that. That joint was dope. Every yeah. time I see it, I go on your page. I'm like, bro, I got to <laughs> get that windbreaker. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, is um fashion week uh do you do you see yourself like um with mayday clothing like being part of fashion shows or putting on your own fashion shows for for mayday clothing mm -hmm. yeah i and you know what that's one thing i haven't gotten to do yet but mm -hmm. I, i'd love to do that um just to be able to kind of you know be able to showcase my work um in a, in in a very like uh you know uh, a different way mm -hmm. that uh you can actually you can see it moving you can you know and just you know, to get, get more yeah. of a feel for it, it's a different perspective, different right. feel. Right, different from just being online exactly. and, like, just that one image, you, you know? You're seeing it, feeling yes. it, feeling the energy. Exactly. For sure, for exactly. sure. Um, talk to us about just your some future drops uh, that you have for Mayday, mm -hmm. just maybe some different uh, ideas, some different kind of lines yeah. that, that we can expect from Mayday clothing in the future. Um, so this is actually uh, one of the newest drops. Um, yeah, I was going to ask you about that. I yeah. Seen that. that yeah, this one I, I, I literally just dropped this past week. Okay. Um, and uh, I just wanted to put it together. This is the the flight tag. Um, it was just just something that I thought was was pretty cool. So I just put it together. Um, another thing I want to I want to work on is um, more towards the women's side. Mm -hmm. um, they have uh, there's like these um, these uh, sweatshirts, but they're kind of they're kind of like uh, crop tops. Mm -hmm. um, and I know I've already showed some girls them, and they're just like, they oh, love, I, I need those. Yeah, they love it. They yeah. Love it. So around like fall time, something like that. Okay. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to end up dropping those. So okay. hopefully those are those are All a hit. Right. All right. And what are your goals just for you as a person, an artist, mm -hmm. uh, anything? What are your goals for the next two to three years? Um, well, I think that from from there, I want I just want to um, just make sure I, I keep up with the music um, and just build my, my fan base more. Um, it's been it's been building pretty pretty good so far, but I just yeah, man, I, I want to connect you know more. It's it's one thing to post, Got the and interview. Then, yeah, <laughs> exactly. and I'm telling you, like stuff like this is is what I love because that way you can kind of you know get inside my brain, pick my brain a little bit, and I can you know talk to other people, and wow. that that only helps me grow. You know what I'm saying? Make mm -hmm. making it better to um, appeal to other people. Okay. So. Okay. And um, I know we were talking about influences, but I'm pretty sure you influence people. And mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure people look to you as a role model, people that you know, people that you don't know. Right. Um, if you could give a message to the youth, especially your fans, um, just about following your dreams, following your passions, yeah. being an entrepreneur, all that good stuff, um, what would that be? Uh, I would just basically just say to, to be yourself 100% because um, that's the only way that you can actually grow 
and be your own person, not have to feel like you're doing this for somebody else or, you know, just feeling taxed because you can't keep up. Okay. Uh, you, you live for yourself, you'll, you'll be happy every day. Okay, so. word, word, man. So um, where can my fans, other fans find mm -hmm. you, man? Uh, where can you find you at? Uh, yeah. Could you just tell us where we could, you know, find you? Yeah, so um, on content. Instagram, um, it's uh, Mayday underscore clothing. And then um, my, my, my personal Instagram is underscore Mayday underscore 15. And then my artist page is CJ underscore official. Um, and then everything else is on those pages. Okay, so. bro. All right. Yeah. Well, um, this is another episode of Savage Time TV. I'm your host, A.B. Brizzly. And again, thank you, bro, for coming out. Let me appreciate interview you, bro. This shit was dope. Um, we got some great content. And uh, I just appreciate you, the opportunity, bro. I really I do. I appreciate it, man. All right, man. Thanks a so lot. We're going to check you out. Savage Time TV. Peace. This is another episode. Yeah. Bet.